Okay. Call 911. Grampy's out in the heat again. Oop. Call 911. Grampy's on the ladder again. See this siding right here? The manufacturer thinks that flashing tape should have been installed under the butt ends. I haven't seen it very often, but it doesn't make it right. Typical is not normal. Corning and other roof covering manufacturers, they believe that the drip edge flashing, edge flashing, all the edge flashing, should be lapped a minimum of two inches. I'm not seeing a starter, of course I never do. But here, I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but these shingles cascade down, for example. Siding cascades down over the apron flashing. The apron flashing cascades down over the shingles. The shingles cascade down over one another until they come out. And then the shingles are supposed to hang out. I'll measure that. But the shingles don't seem like they're overhanging quite enough. It's not what they seem like to me. And then, the manufacturer thinks that this edge flashing should be left two inches. Now, the cascade thing comes down, then the underlayment cascades over the drip edge flashing, like it's supposed to. And in turn, when the rain gutter is installed, the drip edge, not the rake edge, but the drip edge should cascade over the back of the rain gutter so the water doesn't go between the rain gutter across the fascia board here and, and cause damage. When the rain gutter is installed, we've got a beautiful kick out flashing, but the rain gutter butt end, there should be a one inch gap between the rain gutter butt end and the wall and the back of the rain gutter should cascade over here and the rain gutter in turn should take water a minimum of six feet away from the structure now that might be a problem because people are tripping on it lawnmowers, kids, yard crews take your pick a lot of people put them underground and they come out in the low spot that might not be a bad idea because this low spot right here on this retaining wall, if it's less than four feet high, they don't have to pull a permit for it. I don't know if there's any geogrid or tiebacks behind there. I don't know what's holding that, that, that retaining wall up. But I can kind of see how water's been settling right along this area. We haven't even put the sod in yet. But we're looking for drainage. We're looking for drainage, so you want to keep your eye on that. But this is a roof. This is part of the roof. Well, part of things. Moving on along. On our window casement as it goes around up here. Okay. On the casement board, that's a horizontal case, that's a ver vertical case, the upper horizontal case, and the window, we should have Z-bar flashing. So any water that gets behind the wall can come out. This might be too, maybe not. That's pretty good. So the shingles overhang like they're supposed to. Some of the drip edges lapped a little tight and we want to make, you know, take some things into consideration when it's time. It's time to install the rain gutters because you need them. The International Residential Code says you're supposed to manage water runoff to an approved drainage culvert. I'm not seeing it. 